Hey Aries, how you doing? Welcome. We're going to be doing your second half of June general reading. We're going to start off with some animal energy, of course, and then go right to the cards, like I like to do. So, what is the animal energy for Aries for second half of June, please and thank you. Okay, what do we got? Oh, this, okay, this is crazy. I saw a chariot of horses in your premeditation, and I heard the song, I Need a Hero. I need a hero. I don't know who it's by. I don't know if I even know any of the other lyrics, but I just heard that over and over. So the fact that the horse is coming up is like extra delicious. So the horse is such a beautiful energy. Um, you know, for me, this is largely about freedom. Also, horses represent um, being able to travel um, in between different spiritual realms, right? Different planes of consciousness and being and all that good stuff. And for me, horses too can see clearly into the future and to the past, but they don't live in the past. They're constantly moving towards the future, but they're able to reference the past to inform choices that they make, right? Beautiful energy with the horse. Also with the horse, you know, for the horse energy, okay, horse energy, freedom, and, and those who align with this is like their power animal or spirit animal, um, freedom is of the highest priority, right? A lot like Aquarians in that way, okay? <laughs> yes. So my point in saying that is that when a horse energy feels restricted, constricted, like it's put in a pen and it just feels like, oh, I can't get out, I can't run free, I can't roam free, it will buck for freedom. But this is, this is really beautiful. This is um, an animal that absolutely represents transcendence and spirituality. And again, being able to look back and forward in equal measure without living in the past, just letting it inform you moving forward. This is exciting. Okay. All right. So let's see what is going on. For Aries, my fire folk. All right. What's going on for Aries for second half of June? <laughs> Three of Swords in reverse. Really happy this came out in the reverse. Um, because it feels, it feels really good. It feels really good for you guys, I gotta say it. So, you know, Three of Swords in the upright is pretty much what it looks like. <laughs> heart pain that also affects us mentally, right? Or mental pain that causes a heartache, right? Either way. But this is in reverse, so this is in your past energy here. Woo woo! And we will see um, more what that is about specifically when we go to clarifiers. Okay. What else is going on for Aries? You might have broken free recently. Back to the horse. You might have broken free from something recently that was causing you heart and or mental pain or frustration. Yeah, it feels like this is like the freedom, freedom ride. <laughs> three for three, three for three. We got three swords in reverse and the three of cups upright. Hello. So this is my happy reunion card. This can be absolutely um, reuniting with, well, several things. First of all, this can be reuniting with an aspect of yourself that has been lost for a moment in this time of transition out of this heart and or mental pain. Okay. So this could be a reunion with oneself, right? Feeling like yourself again. Because again, I saw you in that chariot. It was like, bam, 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 right? But this can also be reuniting with friends, people that are close to you, also someone from your past that maybe you lost touch with or that you had to go into separation from. This is just all the good feels, all the good feels. Now I want to call to your attention too. We are in a three year and you've gotten three back to back here. So what does a three year look like? When it's good, it is real good. Like living in your own Disney movie, walking around, bursting into song, good. But when it's not good, it's like, I don't know how things will ever be okay again. So it's a year of extremes, okay? Year of extremes. Yeah, okay. Oh, weird, I've never noticed this. Oh my gosh, so they're pointing up this braid in this horse's hair, and it takes three strands to make this kind of braid. That's amazing. I feel like three is a power number for you guys. Very cool. 
Okay. <laughs> what else is going on for my Aries? Aries. Oh God, I just got shivvy me babies. What is three times two? Six, darling. Yes, I, I love this so much. So this is the lovers, you guys. Yes, this is choices in love. This is linking up with people and partnerships and relationships or an aspect of yourself. But this does, you know, more involve other people and your choices around it. Um, that just, fits. see, look at this. We got the three of swords in reverse and then we've got, you know, the heart here just bleeding and stuck through. And then we've got these lovely little crows feasting on a heart right here. It's kind of, I've never really noticed that before. It's kind of like, hey, that's a bit intense, but it's, it's a good thing, okay? It's a good thing. Ooh, I'm getting a flash. Do you remember in early Game of Thrones season one, if you watch, where Daenerys had to eat that heart when she was pregnant? It was like this rite of passage that literally just flashed to me. And they were horse people. The Doth Dothraki were known as the horse people, right? Oh my God, I am obsessed. Yes, this feels like freedom. It feels like love is coming in from reuniting to going to right here. Um, okay, let's keep going. I'm sorry about that noise in the background. I have a naughty little cat who's trying to get into this room and it's not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, let's get a clarifier for this Three of Swords here. Let's see what's going on. All right, Three of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. What is going on? Three of Swords in reverse. Ooh, whoa, this is major. So we got the, well, literally a major arcana here, but we have the moon and the Four of Swords. So the moon is our intuition, it's the unknown. We have Pisces energy here. Hold on, guys. I gotta take care of this cat burglar. Get away from that door, please. Sorry about that. <laughs> he was real insistent on joining this reading and I was like I work alone no I'm just kidding so the moon is all about intuition the unconscious the subconscious the unknown embracing the unknown and then we've got the four of swords here which is not dissimilar at all this is taking time to really go within go inside let your phone sit on do not disturb okay when you need to do that and really coming out of it because the lamb also represents divine love right Christ consciousness love, that situation. And that's what can come. See how this little baby lamb's third eye is like boop, 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 boop. And so it's almost like mining the realm of past pain, past hurt, disappointments has led to this, but really delving into the unknown and really having things illuminated for you that may have been mysteries previously is going to do work on you in a way where it's going to put you in a place where you are a vibrational match to the love and or life that you desire that is in your highest and best good. And I feel like that's what we're looking at here. I don't feel like this is something that you want from an egocentric place. I feel like you're aligning with your highest and best path here and I, I love it, I love to see that. So let's get a clarifier for this three of, well that took, that took two seconds. Okay, so we got the 10 of swords here. So this is a complete and total stop full ending, blah -da, -dee, blah da da And I love this because I like to say that from these 10 swords, the blood that comes out from this poor animal here, from that emerges new life and new beginnings. So I do feel like in this context with the Three of Cups and the 10 of Swords, I do feel like you have people around you that are helping you ease through this transition. I do, and I feel like it's gonna feel really good. It's 10 of Swords can be very intense, but I feel like what this is saying is an aspect of you that can overthink, that need, may feel the need to control things, control outcomes, right? That part of you is passing away to the past position and going into this place of just like all the good feels because we got three of cups here. I'm, I'm getting this feeling too that you might even be around friends or loved ones or partners and they're like, my God, I, there's such a change in you. And I feel like it's because you are breaking free and really understanding and embracing and living the truth that expectations are limitations. It, God, there's this feeling of like graduation. It feels really good. Okay, so let's get a clarifier for this spicy lovers over here. Hello, lovers. What you got to say? <laughs> 
Seven of Cups. Okay, again here with this moon energy. So listen, I do feel like you might have some choices in love coming up here. This can be romantic or not. It does not have to be romantic. The lovers are about choices in love, right? It's not like Two of Cups. Um, but I feel like for you guys, it may put you in this place of like, oh, it's interesting. It's interesting. I feel like your advice is to be the horse. Look to the past to inform your future. Again, not living there, but look to the past to inform your future. Be an air sign about it, if you will. Really look at it clinically, but also from a feeling sphere as well. You can do both, be an air and a water sign. And I feel like it is going to take you right out of this seven of cups energy because I do feel like this is gonna come quickly. Horse is a fast moving energy. And it's, see how the moon is so beautifully depicted on top? And it's like, well, how do we flip this to where the sun is on top? We get out of this unknown again with this moon energy here. Hello, hello, hello. And it's like, how do we flip it to where everything is illuminated? And I feel like for you guys, the key to that is like I said, looking back and letting your past choices inform your future ones. That's what this is. And I don't feel like it's going to hang out here for very long. I feel like it's going to flip like this. Now, what causes this is the question. What causes this seven of cups? You're getting into a new vibration. You're getting into a new slice of life, a new road ahead, right? And I do feel like it's going to be on and popping and happening quickly. Could feel some extremes here with the number of threes that you've got here, right? But I do feel like it has to do with wanting to make the right decision. And it has something to do with someone you might meet and be falling in love with absolutely, right? Or it could be, you know, career that you love or spending more time, you know, with those you love versus work. It's something about a choice in love here. This way or that way. This way or that way. Right? You know, and sometimes I would say it can be this and that. But I feel like for you guys, you're gonna feel this too. It really is, it's learning from that so that it's this or that, right? I can either do things like I've done them before or I can try it a new way, right? Horse is a very fearless, um, beautiful inner, oh my God, and the moon here too. Look at all these, look at all these moons. Gorgeous, right? Yeah, there is a lot of beautiful hidden knowledge to be found by going inside. Meditation can be active meditation. The horse absolutely active meditation. Um, again, with the four of swords here, really giving, really separating yourself from your day-to-day -day stimuli. And let your stimuli and your energy be your own to connect with your guides, your, your higher self, whatever that is, right? But this is something that you gotta do for yourself and on your own, but it's going to be soft and it's going to be beautifully lubricated in this way because you're going to have really good people around you to be an ear for you. Do you know what I mean? Now let's get an oracle for you guys. I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling the angel deck for you guys. But this is Aries. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, weird. They're telling me that song I heard, I Need a Hero. Uh, partially what that's about is being your own hero at this time. Oh, I also feel like you're being set up to be the hero for others and help others. If any of you are in lines of work where you're healers or you help others or you're counselors or you're even the natural mediator at work or with your group of friends, I feel like that's about to amplify. And remember, when you get through this time and you look to your past to inform your future, then you will have learned that lesson if you do so successfully, which I feel like you will, just setting that intention to do so. Then you're going to be able to turn around and help others flip this seven of cups upside down. This is a lesson you're learning so that you can pass it on and teach it to others. I'm completely obsessed with that. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's get a clarifier for you. Oh, we got two. Oh my God. Guys, life review. Life review, you can't make this up. Archangel Jeremiah, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. I got a little loud there, but I just got really excited. Um, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is, again, what is this? Letting your past inform your future. Yes, darlings, because a new life is upon you. Because then you also got it, came out with it, prosperity. <laughs> Prosperity, Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. 
Guess what? Green is the color of the heart chakra. We got a bunch of heart action going on here, don't we though? This is the gold at the end of the rainbow. This is beautiful. This is a lesson that you are going to learn that you are going to be able to pay forward by teaching it to others. And I don't know if there's anything better than that. I feel like this could be because I'm an Aquarius, but I feel like anything, I feel like Aries are like this too though. Anything that you can put into a humanitarian context and look at it through that, like maybe I'm going through this that I can turn around and help others, you know, with this, with my experience of how I got through this in a beautiful and way and found personal freedom, right? It just, it's just like the spoonful of sugar with the medicine, in my opinion. But this is beautiful, Aries. I, it just couldn't be better, and I'm really excited for you guys. All right. <laughs> With that being said, I'm going to go handle this cat over here. With that being said, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And just thank you, thank you, thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.